Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard earned money on Madden packs? Look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURDY at checkout for 5% off. What's going on, guys? Today, I got a very special one for you guys. We got the LTD Plexico Burris on a full 50 50 New York Jets theme team. 89 speed, 99 jumping, three thresholds, great after the catch, six foot five. I do think he's going to be slotted in at wide receiver, wide receiver two because he doesn't get double me like Calvin does. That X factor is so broken, and having that for free, I think, is just king. And also having all the past chemistries and things like that is really, really good too. However, I cannot get my hands on the lighted up token right now. The game is glitched. They won't let me go to the field pass. I don't even know how to activate like i i don't know what level i don't even know if what i'm doing in the game is counting towards it i don't even know i don't even know what level i need to get to in order to get the lighted up x factor so i don't know it won't let me in it won't let it will not let me in uh, however he does get a secondary position what is this what is this gonna be maybe i get two chems i don't know but apparently i also can get plus one speed on the card when i add the lighted up x factor so I, this video could have been 99 speed plasco burris and if it really does do that i might still make that the video title i don't know i don't know i, I don't know yet i i can't i can't get my hands on, on that token yet so i just don't know but these cards do get i think at least the ltds do get two discountability slots so you're gonna be able to go deep elite for two or if you want to go short in i wish one of these was a zero would have been nice but if you do get the lighted up x factor or the lighted up ability token and put it on this card you do get zero ap wide receiver apprentice or even even this for one ap is pretty decent it's okay i would probably rather go wide receiver apprentice honestly even deep elite for zero is pretty good too um it, but if it does get plus one speed i will probably end up putting this token on plesco burris in the long run just because i know i have a jets team and i want to have 99 speed things like that so let's go burris gonna be very 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 good card um i'll keep you guys updated i'll be on twitter trying to see everything but right now the field pass just doesn't work and i'll show you what i mean right now and when we kind of go back out here, I'll show you what I mean. The field pass just does not work while I'm recording this, just so I can, so you guys can go to objectives or even show the, you know, what's in the field pass. And it says, un 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 unable to retrieve your progression. Um, and it kind of kicks me back out. So that's what's going on right now. I reset my game, close my app, all that good stuff. So I don't know what it could be, but let's hop into some gameplay here with Plexico and let's see what he can do today. All right, here we go. Loading into game number one. We're taking on. What looks to be probably a Steelers team, and I gotta be honest, my team's kind of in a weird spot right now as far as the personnel and players we have. But I did actually put Ronnie Lott into my lineup because I wanted to see what the non-LTDs look like, and they do also get another discounted ability slot. So if you watched my video earlier, I may have not really talked about that. But to be honest, I didn't watch the stream last night, so I if they mentioned that in the stream, I I wasn't in it. But even on my IGG, they didn't mention it either. But still um so that, that video is fairly accurate still but you know it, that second discountability slot does go a long way and by the way if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button while we kind of wait here and return this kick look at plexico man plexico burris always one of my favorite cards every single year was nervous he wasn't gonna be in the game this year was very nervous but here he is he's here and the jets theme team like i said we desperately needed a plexico burris card um, we're gonna put plexico um onto the onto the stretch alert bubble here he's trying getting the ball in his hands to get started here um, I, of course, you guys know I love operating out of wing slots where the offense starts. Of course, I have Chris Johnson, and I'm using Mike Vick right now, which obviously isn't perfect or anything, but we can get zoned the outside. We do get zoned. Left-handed quarterback, Mike, Mike Vick slings it. Might get a block there up the sideline, and Plexico Burris straight to the cock on the first play. The straight to the cock on the first play. Plexico, get off me, little boy. Get off me, little boy. Okay, I, I want to get him involved more as a deep guy, but that 98 speed, this is actually the fastest card I've... Nope, yep, this is the fastest card I've used so far this year, so um yeah this is pretty much what this, is, this feels great this feels great this is what people who have full playoff teams probably have been feeling like for a while um but yeah i don't know i don't know the state of this game's in a, this, this game's in a weird spot right now um not just like madden 24 but like in the future i don't know and we'll, we'll talk about it while we're on defense i guess but interesting very interesting i'm gonna, I'm gonna of course swing this ball out to the outside he's kind of playing it just want to get plus go another touch there but next drive we're not gonna run wing slot here. They can see what it, he already sees what it's able to do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're not gonna run the strat, the RPO. We're gonna try to throw, throw him the ball um, in some different ways. Okay, so on defense, let's talk about what I was kind of talk. What I kind of mentioned earlier. So um, I, I don't know. It's the promo theme team. I think the promo theme team has put this game in a weird spot right now, where I, I just I think it kills the normal theme team, and also it really hurts people who aren't gonna spend a lot of money on this game because it, like you need the ltds in order to build the full theme teams you need certain cards to build the full theme teams out 
um and it kind of puts the full theme teams behind a paywall especially them adding a 60 60 and then not putting a 60 60 in for the normal teams i think really hurts um the game and even for the future of the game um, i don't think it's gonna matter too much this guy's gonna leave the game already i don't think it's gonna matter too much once we kind of hit that 99 speed cap but i'm um, starting next year if they come out the gate with promo theme teams I, I i just don't know because i know it's ruining the game for some people obviously the people that can pay for it they don't really care but i don't know i feel like it's definitely a weird thing me personally i say vote them out i didn't like legends theme team i didn't like a lot of the, the promo theme teams um but i ran a zero chill team it was damn good okay so i just got let into the uh into the field pass here and it's level 10 um in order to get the lighted up x factor so i probably won't have it for today's gameplays but i did do a hero set i gotta do one more set for 1500 xp it's actually kind of a grind um may actually, may, may actually have to play solos for it normally they give you these kind of promo tokens early but this one is much different they, you're not getting it early so light it up x factor gonna be a while before you get it and you actually can get two uh, one at 10 and one at 18 which is pretty cool so um yeah i think it's definitely worth the grind if you're gonna have these high overall cards these ltds if you want to fully invest into them and make this your super bowl uh present mvp player so they already leaked that we're going to be getting a cmc as well as a um, justin reed as well coming next week most likely so interesting and when i think about it more it feels like christian mccaffrey and that justin reed card are going to be like chuck howley and heinz ward are to the past promo i think it's gonna be kind of like that where you're gonna you're gonna be able to yeah level them up and grind up to 93s but you're also gonna need that 95 in order to make them full which is interesting you know ea gives you a free card but in order to make that card usable you gotta buy a champion which i actually want to see what the price of these cards are right now uh 600k a uh, five five 500k for like Terrell Davis, a guy like that. Just crazy. I wonder if they gave her battle good tackling stats. Yeah, they did. I predicted that. I was for some reason they always give those old one face bar uh the cornerbacks good tackling stats. Ken Riley, Night Trendley, they always give them good, you know, really good tackling stats for corners. He wants to go to the second one, I think. That should be a pick though. Three Gwolin. Uh that is zero. Chill three Gwolin. Just like that, we're right back on offense with our man here. We got let's go. Can I get him in a good corner out scenario here? Um, he's on the wide side of it we could go bunch strong nasty and i believe he should be running that left side corner route yeah he is okay not ideal if it is man-to-man -man coverage in this scenario but let's see if we can get some cooking here does it feel like man-to-man -man? it's not plus gonna be open sideline and another touchdown two throws two touch two touchdowns for busco burris i don't you know wide receiver game plays you know i read every comment right and some of you guys make good points wide receiver game plays i always thought this but they're almost pointless <laughs> they're almost pointless because like <laughs> unless i'm throwing contested balls over and over and over and over and over again which really does set the bigger receivers apart when you're trying to get bailed out they, like it could have been five foot ten zay flowers catching that pass you know it could have been five foot ten zay flowers taking that taking that um you know rpo to the house it, it could have been any player of any size and if you're playing zone coverage if you know what you're doing you can usually scheme guys open i guess route running used to play more of a factor like kind of but they just give everybody good route running now so it, it's it's i i feel like they're almost kind of pointless in a way um you know you can really use whoever you want a wide receiver and you could even use guys that are slower as well like you could like it, that could have been a 94 maybe not on the rpo run because we needed speed there but on that corner route it could have been a 91 speed wide receiver on that Took it all the way to the crib on that play. That might be a touchdown. No, it's not. He has no abilities on Barry. With jukebox, might be a touchdown. But I just don't feel the like. I don't feel the difference in the like one one wide receiver to the next. Unless we're talking about height, um, like I do on a running back or like a quarterback or something like that. I feel like quarterback gameplay is probably the most important. Running backs, because I think running backs do a different feel depending on their height and their build and their abilities and things like that. Even their stats and how they fall and their weight. Um, receivers though, not as much unless they have some kind of crazy ability like Calvin Johnson's double me, where um that that card is definitely set apart. Like I okay why is okay I thought, that, I thought that was channing crowder in the game but no it's charles Tillman. it should have been a pick to be honest and i have been noticing that a lot there's a lot of plays where i should have interceptions i just don't give them i just don't is that a screen bank blowing up sauce way to be sauce way to be sauce yes that is aka sauce gardener for those who are worth look at over the top I think he wants gronk we get great uh, and a jalen carter interception another short field that's why I love starting gameplays off on the, on offense because you just can't get in a good groove. You just really cannot get in a good groove in 80% of the games because of people just quitting when you start on defense and getting short fields and things like that. Because no one punts in that. And no one does. No one. Not even Dan Campbell. 
And yeah, the next video I'm gonna be making is a Doug Williams gameplay, and it does look like he'll be maybe the best QB in the game. Two discounted slots, potential for the lighted up slot. Uh, you know, traditional four release. He's gonna be a stud, man. He's gonna be a stud. I cannot wait for that video. Also, I haven't really ever used a Doug Williams card. I think he had the Black History Month card in Madden 21 or something like that. I never really got to use him because that card wasn't too great, but I'm excited to use him. Kind of a new name, a new quarterback that a lot of us really haven't seen yet. But let's go, let's go with that same exact quarterback I just ran for the for the touchdown on the last touchdown we threw to Plexico. We finally have one full drive. We're gonna march on the field. We're gonna score a touchdown. We're gonna get out of here and head to the final report, of course. Um, we're gonna get out of here. So double mesh here for the corner. I'm throwing this ball no matter what. And Plexico is too big, too strong. There we go. We get our deep elite animation, our deep elite X Factor to light up, our ability to light up, which is what you, of course, want. There is one scenario where I like having the big body receivers, and it actually is on man to man, or even sometimes with if zones match corner routes, I like having um, a bigger body there just because um, they do actually. The flat's going to be naked. Oh, the flash wasn't that naked here. I think you can cover four, I think. Was that a cover four look? It honestly may have been. I think where we want to go here is wing slot. Go mesh spot here. Obviously, we could take this man right out of his own coverage and make him very uncomfortable. Um, but the only problem is he probably is deep in. So he's deep out. Okay, so what we want to do is try getting this ball. Now he's actually, oh, we actually had it. It was cover three high. We did have, we did get sacked there. We had it. We had the completion we wanted. It would have been wide open. We just ran out of time. Yeah, he is sending that extra guy off the edge. Again, this could be man-to-man -man here, uh, but it's probably gonna be cover three again. My tight ends are pretty much non-factors on this squad. I gotta figure that out still, but here we go. Right underneath right there. That's an easy dot right there to Plexico. And yeah, man, wow. Plexico Burris, two million right now. It makes sense for all of those who will be building, um, who, who will be building the uh, Super Bowl theme team. It makes sense for those kind of guys. Uh, but damn, two million coins, quite a lot quite a good amount right there right, i would love to get plex going to the middle but i'm just honestly too lazy to switch up my formation also would love to flip this as well because this play probably will not work because of we're running this wide side uh, the flat um the flat is open we have chris johnson go to corner chris break a tackle maybe no sir all right we're gonna go rpo and uh finish this thing off and let's just get play i think i can just do this actually if i go rb sub i believe it no that might be garrett wilson though i don't know wide receiver swap maybe yeah, that'll work. Some dudes do go man to man on the goal line, but oh, yeah, he went man to man. All right, seems he's gonna be a walk in for Chris Johnson, pretty much. All right, not bad, not bad. And I actually want let's stay in this. We're gonna go with an ag catch to end this thing. Also, would have loved to. I also would love to see like a zero AP red zone threat at some point for wide receivers this year. Red zone threat, one of my favorite abilities. It has been for a while, but this year they really haven't given anyone a reason to run it. And I wonder how he's going to play this. I'm throwing this ball up, though. I'll tell you that right now. Come back up. Oh, we get sacked. Instant. Okay, let's go to the final report. And I'll give you my final thoughts on this Plesco Burns card. Okay, so for Plesco's final report, this is an easy 20-star player. Has the special abilities. Has potential for light him up X-Factor. Even without it, I would give him the 20 stars there. Physical, clearly 6'5". Great speed. Stats. Run, can run every route. Animations. He looked like he was, he was running good routes. Had good high ball animations, things like that. Uh, had a good juke move as well. I'm um, in that six foot five frame. So 20 star player plus go birds. Is he worth 2 million? No, no cards worth 2 million unless you got it like that. And you really just want to build a Super Bowl theme team, then go for it. You know what I mean? He'll be one of your best wide receivers. Also, you can match, you know, Calvin with him too. Like it's going to be disgusting. These promo theme teams are getting out of hand. But either way, appreciate you watching today's video. Hit that like button if you are new. Uh, no, hit the subscribe button if you're new. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. That's how it works. And of course, as always, I'll see you boys in the next one.